Hello and welcome to this final boss fight live stream. My name is John and I am joined by Jeff. Hello! Jeff, who is presently streamifying. I am, yes. This is experimenting for something else coming up. Uh, we are going to be continuing the undimensioned and unseen uh, thing. What is it called? This, um, is, this is undimen undimensioned and unseen. Adventure. Scenario is Scenari the official name for it. Yeah. Scenario. We'll call it scenario. Uh, the undimensioned and unseen scenario that we were playing in Arkham Horror. <clears throat> uh, when last our brave adventurers were seen, they had. Is that three broods of Yogg-Sothoth left? Um, there, is, one. there is there is one one, one is in the pile, one we've defeated, and two in the in the town in this in the area. In play. Yep. Uh, one of them is currently being affected by a towering beast card that means that it gets plus one to fight and plus one to. Help. But it also um, has it also has two clues on it, which means we get bonuses when we try and attack it. That is, which that is a is good, good thing. That is helpful. Um, we've got to defeat. We either have to defeat all of the Yogsothoth brood in play, like in, in existence in the pile. Yes. The... Or we go to Dunwich Village and retire. I think. Um... The, we win. We win the scenario if we get rid of everything. So we've got these two in play, and one more that's waiting to come into play. Yes. But I don't think it's designed to make to you know that's that's the best outcome. But it's probably not the most likely outcome. I think the actual description on the card is defeat as many as you can. Yes. Defeat as many of the Oxythoth enemies as you can. If there are no copies. Set it in play or set aside, advance the act. Yes, so if we get rid of them all, we advance the act. If we don't get rid of them all, we, we retire. Have we, have to, we have to resign. We either, we either get kicked out, we either resign because of the agenda, or we can just go to Dunwich Village and resign. Uh, so, what are we at? We're at one Doom, and there's six on there. Yep, and there's two cards in the agenda deck still. So we can still advance the agenda once and be in with a chance of I not dying think from we it. We have another ten doom on the agenda. Okay. Unless anything so we've comes got some out. Time is what you're saying. We got some time. Unless yes. Something brings in more doom, which it tends to do, because that has screwed um, us over once before. Uh, what else have has. we got? Also on the board we have, um, well, Jenny Barnes found another clue for Izzy last time. She's always finding these clues, but never actually finding yeah. Izzy. Fortunately, Rex Murphy is perfectly placed to help her um, to help her resolve that lead. Yes. Um, looking at the thing, which is good because Jenny Barnes is looking a bit beaten up, beaten up mentally wise. Yeah, she's not doing too great, but she's got some alcohol, so she can deal with it. Yes. Not the best of solutions, but it'll do in a pinch. Mm. We've also got um, Ashcan Pete, who is currently got hypochondria, which he needs to get rid of at some point. Uh, I mean, that's just two actions to get rid of, so we can do that at some point. Yeah, it's it, it's not a pressing concern, but it does need to happen. And he's still got one piece of the powder of even Gazi left, so we can throw that onto a um, onto a brood if we get the chance. Now, in the last session, we used the Cold Spring Glen that allowed us to put two of the clues onto the Yog Sothoth, who is now a towering beast. Yes. This is when uh, people go back and look through and go, no, they didn't. They did something else, but we're, we're saying this is how I we did really it. I really hope we did. <laughs> I'm fairly certain we did. I think, it's, I, think, uh, I think it's about right. It's about what we said. Which means that we can't use Cold Spring Glen's ability again because it has a once per game yes. limit. But that does also mean that the Tower 10 Acre Meadow and the Blasted Heath and. Devil's Hop Yard is still available for that. Devil's Hop Yard all have a chance to be used. 
Um, yes, that's about right. And we are at the start of a new turn. Which means it's our turns to do things? I Yes, it is. So, what do we want to do? Because you've looked at all of the cards. Well, I think, first of all, we need to get through our um, encounter phase first. Oh, I was really hoping we didn't. <laughs> I'm afraid we do, so... Uh, so, is that one new Doom? That's one new Doom. That's that's two Doom. Uh, and I will draw for Jenny. Yep. It's another Towering Beast. Oh! Um, uh, which is also bad, because Jenny is there. Yes, so she gets one damage. Yes. So this, this, this... Yogg-Sothoth becomes a towering beast. Jenny takes one damage. Yes. And it now has plus one to fight and plus one to have. To be honest, it's now the same as the other one, so we're not really Basically. losing anything by that, yeah. Uh, next up, uh, Ash Campete has altered beasts. If there are no abomination... No abomination enemies in play. Altered Beast gets Surge. But we do have abominations, because these are abominations. Heal all damage from that enemy and attach Altered Beast to it. When you at enter attached enemy's location, take one horror. That's that's not good. Are there any other... There aren't any other abominations. There aren't any other abominations either. on the board, so it's got to go to this one or this one. Um, I don't want it. I'm afraid it's got to go on one of them. We'll stick it on the we we'll stick it on the one up here with clues on it because I don't think there's that much in it, so Well I mean it's not damaged yet, so we're fine with it being healed. Yes, just means that and we don't really want it here because we're gonna be going through here. I mean we do want to be going to that thing and killing it, so that's not great. We do, yes, it's just how much can we do? I I'm going to say now, if we get to the stage where we, get, we look like we're going to lose on horror, one of our investigators is going to die on horror, we leg it to Dunwich Village and get out. That sounds fair. Okay, so my turn. I get the creature's tracks. You must either take to horror or spawn a set aside of brood of Yogg-Sothoth at a random location. What are you feeling? Um, I'm going to spawn the brood of Yogg-Sothoth, so we've got all three in play, really. Okay. Shuffle, Shuffle. all thing. It is Ten Acre Meadow. There's already one there. If there's already one there, what happens if there's already one there? Um, it's allowed uh, to be there. Great. Hi, Jenny. So, yeah. <laughs> Jenny's not looking too good there. Jenny's not having the best of times right now. Um, Do you want to make it even better? Let's draw the next... This is for Sorted and Silence. Attach Sorted and Silence to your location... At the end of the round, each adventure at a investigation at attached location takes one horror. So that goes over to here because that was Rex's card. Yes. So this half of the board is looking pretty sordid and silent. This middle area of the board is looking pretty full of broods of Yogg-Sothoth who are towering beasts of insanity and, oh, and just generally boy. eating people whole. Oh. This side of the board's looking pretty nice right about now. Can we go to Dunwich Village and just leave? <laughs> we may have to. I'm just looking at... So and Jenny's... that's it for the stream tonight, guys. Bye. <laughs> so Jenny's turn, um, when we come to it, if you want to take your... Depends if you want to take your turn first, because Jenny's going to have to evade both of these and then leg it. Yes. Which she can do. Theoretically, she can do, because... Spend two resources. She's got two resources to evade. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't. I don't see that there's any other choice. Okay. So yeah, that's going to be Jenny's. And she's going. Is she going to leg it to Dunwich Village, or is she going to leg it to Cold Spring Glen? She kind of needs to evade these two first because that's going to take... Oh, she's got an extra action because of Leo DeLuca, so she could do it. Okay. Uh, um, so, yeah, I think you better... Right, start by evading things first, I think. 
that gives you one, plus three on one of them. Which one are you going to try and evade? I'm going to evade the towering beast first. Okay, so you put yours up to three by three, so that's six versus its three. Come on, good luck. That is minus one for each brood in play. One, two, three. Three, three, it's evaded. I still win. So that's the first one, evaded. Uh, so... You're going to have to chuck something in for that one, I think. Yeah. You can chuck more than one in, can't you? You can chuck as many you w as you wish in, yeah. I'm going to chuck two in. Lone so wolf. A lone wolf and a backstab that both have a foot icon on. Cool. So uh, that's five. So that's five, five versus... versus three. That'll do. Yay. So those are both so, out of commission. Where am I going? Um, okay, so you've got two actions left. So I can go to Ten Acre Meadow. I, I am at Ten Acre Meadow. You Don't want to go there. Go to Blasted Heath. If you, no, you can't go to Blasted Heath. You can go to Cold Spring Glen. I can go to Cold Spring Glen or I can go to Dunwich Village. Ooh, if you go to Cold Spring Glen... I think you want to go... Well, wherever you go, your next action has to be to heal up your horror, I think. That sounds a pretty good plan. Um, I'm going to go to Dunwich Village. Okay, yep. So that's action three. Action four, which is from having Leo De who gives you an additional action. Can I just interject? Hello, Brian Coy Dragon. Welcome to Hello. the stream. Uh, action four is going to be to take a swig of my liquid curry. Uh, so I get to spend one supply. And heal up a horror. And heal a horror. And, and then test ray. Test two so heads. Three versus two. Yep. Uh, so minus three. So zero versus two. So that means you discard a random card from your hand. Uh, do you want to pick left? Um, no, no, let me get a um, suitable thing out for doing that. So we'll go heads, it's left, tails, it's right. It's um, left. Left. You know, they actually knife. gave me a proper coin on that thing. A knife, well. Knife goes in the bin. whoop de doo <laughs> Okay, so turn that one I over. I dropped it. I was drunk. <laughs> uh, so that's Jenny Barnes. Done. Do you want to take one of your turns? Yeah, I want to try and take Rex Murphy's turn to do your searching for Izzy because he could ace this completely. So Sweet. he's at four versus one. Do I want to um, spend anything to get this? Spend one resource to get plus two? Because I know there's some nasty stuff in there. Well, the thing is, you can't. I can. While well, you have five or more cards in your hand. Oh, you're right. So it's just going to be four versus... Two. I keep forgetting that rule. Four versus one. That'll do it. And I'm going to spend two actions and searching for Izzy. Izzy searching for Izzy. Yay. So that Thank was my, that was minus one, wasn't it? That was minus one. So it's three versus one. And I get a clue because if I investigate, no matter what I'm investigating for, I get a clue. Yay. <laughs> Um, that's my. F so that goes in my discard. That's your discard pile. That's my first two actions. Where the heck can I get? To? I can't really get anywhere because if I go left, I'm in the blasted teeth, and the yog sothoth gets me. If I go down, I'm at the Waitley ruins, and I lose a horror anyway. So my. You might next, as well stay there. I'm going to stay there and clear this place out. Makes sense. So this is four versus one again. That's the elder thing. Minus three. So I get one clue for that. Hey, Scar. Hi, Sammy. And because I... Be I do okay. Because I've ended my turn there, um, I take a horror. Yeah. Well, he takes a horror anyway. I just... I don't even know what this card is at the moment. What is this card? Um, I should have been doing Rex for that. Well... 
doesn't matter. I think that's what we're going to say anyway. So that was pretty straightforward. I should have been as Rex for that, to be honest. Zoe. Um, so my first action is going to play an emergency cast to get three resources. My second action is going to be pull out a machete just in case something nasty comes up for three resources. My third action is going to be to play Clarity of Mind, spend one charge, heal one horror from Investigator at my location, which is going to be me. Good plan. I like it. And that can go there. Demona Lisa! Hello! Hello. We are playing Arkham Horror, the card. On the tabletop simulator. I'm hoping you're still there, because you just stopped speaking. Well, I was done oh. with the sentence. Oh, okay, that's fair enough then. It just, it just the way Discord abruptly stop it, so I thought to myself, ah, is he still there? Um, that's my two turns done, so it's down to Ashcan Pete now. So, Ashcan Pete, uh... What... What do we want Ashcan Pete to do? Um... What's this Cold Spring Glen got? Is it worth getting him to clear out these two clues on Cold Spring Glen? I mean, he can try. He's got Duke. He's got Duke, uh, which can give him an investigation of four. And he's got a flashlight, but he's also got, got a flashlight. I don't think you can com you can't combine the two. He could either use a flashlight to give it a minus two shroud to make it three, but he's still got two. Or he could um, use. Has he got anything? He hasn't got his scrapper. Can't no, do anything. No, scrapper is fighting, fighting or evading. Okay. Um, he, he could. And bear with me on this. Okay. Just for a laugh, he could use Duke to get into Ten Acre Meadow, and, and investigate, investigate as one turn, and then throw his last powder of Ibn Ghazi onto one of these two things, and then maybe take a swing at it. No, because don't um, is it worth taking a swing at it, or ready up Duke and then bring him back down here and get one of these clues? Um, uh, I think I think going into there, get duking into there, getting a clue, and then dropping your pow last powder on one of these two things is a good, is a solid is a solid first couple of steps. Because they're probably they might move away anyway. To be honest, that's not a bad plan. Yes, I like that as a plan. And so maybe take a that. maybe take a swing at one of them. Uh, uh, well, I mean, if I take a swing at one of them, I can't leave again. But they may leave you. But they may leave. Yes. So I mean, basically, if I swing at it, it's a brain. It, it it's a head test with a plus two. Yes. So I've got four in smarts to begin with because Ash Campeet's a fairly learned guy. Yes. He's fallen on hard times, clearly, but hey, Sean. Hey, Sean. Uh, he's fallen on hard times, but clearly he knows what he's doing. He's got Duke around, which is cool. Uh, he gets to plus two for each clue that's on the monster, so he gets up to a plus six versus it. What is it that it... Um, it'll be this... If it, these None of these has got clues on them, so it'll be one clue, so it'll be only plus two on one of them. But it would be... What, what am I attacking it? Is it the fist? You you attack it with your head. No, it's on oh. its thing. Do I is my target number the fist? Yes, yes. So yeah, it would be six versus six. Yes. I might as well give it a go. I'm I think do I think it's worth giving it a go. Let's start with let's start with getting Duke up in there. So one. Uh, so that's four versus Shroud of two. Yep. Uh, I don't have anything to throw against that to help. Okay. So it's just... That is a cultist, which is revealing another token. Uh, minus minus one. one. That's fine. If you so four if you... versus three. So you get one of those. Uh, three versus two. Yep. I know which number to take away from. <laughs> uh, so I get a clue. You get a clue nice. for that, yes. Which is always good. They're useful. Yes. I've now got a little bit of a stockpile going on here. 